Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Man Cave Meals. Today I'm going to do a video I've been wanting to do for quite a while. I've got eight different digital instant read thermometers that we're going to do a head-to-head -head test on for uh, mainly speed and accuracy, but I'm going to do a review of each of them on some other criteria as well. I've got everything between a hundred dollar thermometer and a ten dollar thermometer to look at today to see uh, what's the best of the best and then what's the best bang for the buck. So let's get started. Okay, to get started on this video, I want to introduce you to the eight players in this game in descending order of price. And we're going to start out with the Thermapen uh, Mark IV by Thermaworks. This thermometer is typically considered to be the gold standard of this type of product. It's very good, there's no doubt about that. And this guy rings in at $99, which is at the top of our scale. The next thermometer on my list is one I'm a little bit leery about including on this test, but it's a thermometer that I love, so I want to at least show it to you. This is a Maverick PT100. This guy rings in at $89, and the reason I'm a little bit leery to include this thermometer in the test is I believe my performance on this particular thermometer is degraded a little bit over the time I've had it. I've had this thermometer for almost seven years, but I love it. I love the display on it, and when I originally got this, I did a video comparing it to a Thermapen, so we're going to include this one in the test as well. Coming down one more notch on the ladder, we have the Thermapen Classic, which is the original Thermapen before they brought out the Mark IV. This guy is currently selling for $79 and it was the former gold standard in the market for this type of thermometer. So next one down the list we have, I have the Lava Tools Javelin Pro Duo which comes in at $49.95. This is a good mid-range price thermometer and its performance is excellent so I'm looking forward to seeing how it stacks up to the rest of these. So number five on my list is going to be the Thermaworks Thermapop. This guy rings in at $34 and it's a very solid thermometer as well. Coming on down we have the Lava Tools PT18 which is another stick thermometer like the Thermapop. This guy's $29.99 so it's, it's uh, $5 or so less expensive than the Thermapop. And then we come down another notch in price to the Thermapro TP19. I have some really high hopes for this thermometer in this test. I bought this thermometer. I actually bought several of these last week just to include them in this test. This guy is $19.98. It's $20 on Amazon. I'm sorry, it's $24.98. So it's $25 thermometer. And the seventh thermometer on our list is another one I picked up on Amazon just to try. The brand name on this is Hensun, H-E-N-S-U-N, and there are a lot of thermometers out on Amazon that look exactly like this that have a different logo up here. These are $20, they're $19.98, and the specs on these say that it's waterproof and that it uh, has a a reaction time of as fast as two to three seconds. So we want to test it really and see how fast it is at the $20 price point. And to round out the collection, at the bottom end of the price point, I have the Lava Tools PT09. This is a $10 thermometer. I got it on Amazon also for $9.99 uh, because I wanted to test something at the both ends of this uh, price range. So we're looking today between $9.99 and $99 on each of these thermometers. So I have this wonderful pile of thermometers that we're going to get started testing and I've come up with my own little scheme to rate these guys so I can come up with a score when we're done. Let's move on to the speed test. I'm setting up a sous vide bath at 155 degrees. Okay, I've got my sous vide bath running here. 
at 155 degrees. And the reason I've chosen 155 degrees for this test is I believe that most people are going to be using digital instant read thermometers to check for temperatures between 100 degrees Fahrenheit and 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So somewhere right in the middle, I think, is going to give us the best reading. It does take a little longer when you're measuring temperatures that are up out of that range. So today, the first thing I'm going to test is the Thermoworks Thermapin Mark IV. So I'm going to use my handheld stopwatch. And that guy hit 155 degrees in 1.93 seconds. And the next competitor in our test here is the Maverick PT100. So the Maverick hit in 2.56 seconds. So we'll just call that 2.6. Our next competitor in the test is the Thermoworks Thermapin Classic. And it got us there in 2.09 seconds, so we'll just call that 2.1. Our next competitor is the Lava Tools Javelin Pro. And the Javelin Pro comes in at 1.69 seconds, so we'll just call that 1.7. Our next competitor is the Thermoworks Thermopop. The Thermopop comes in at 2.87 seconds, so we'll just call that 2.9. And our next competitor is the Lava Tools PT18. It comes in at 4.06, so we'll just call that 4.1. Our next, our next competitor is the Thermapro TP19. And it comes in at 1.69, so we'll call that 1.7. Our next competitor is the cheap uh, Chinese model from Amazon, the $20 model. And this guy rings in at two seconds flat. And then our last contestant here is the Lava Tools PT09, which is the $10 thermometer. And it comes in at 4.47, so we'll call that 4.5. So now let's have a look at some of the individual thermometers. And we're going to start with what's touted as the best of the best with the Thermapin Mark IV. This Thermapin is definitely durable. It's going to get the top rating from me on durability. Uh, I want to show you the displays on each of these. This one comes in uh, with a ambidextrous LCD and when you turn this thermometer uh, the display turns automatically with it at whatever orientation you have and also it has a light sensor uh, somehow here if I can get it dark enough in here for that to come on it uh, it's a backlit LCD see if I can make it dark enough in here for it to actually come on there we go it has a backlit LCD uh, and the the LCD the backlit LCD on the thermo pins is not my favorite. I mean it works. Uh, I've got some other thermometers here that I do like the display on a little bit better. But the thermo pin one thing about this thermometer is when you set it down after you're using it, it has a very short time out period. It will shut itself off and it will shut the light off as well. The light on this one automatically comes on. If you can manually turn that on, I'm not sure how it works, but it senses the light and does everything for you. And when this thing goes to sleep, it will go to sleep sitting here in a fairly short time, probably not in the short time I'm talking about it, but when you pick the thermometer back up, it wakes itself back up. There, it, you see it just went to sleep. It wakes itself back up. You don't have to do anything. So when I pick this up, 
you can see that it, it comes back on automatically. That is a really nice feature. This is the only thermometer in the set that does that and that that's really nice. The PT100 by Maverick has is another one of the ones where I really like the display on it. It is a backlit LCD and it comes on, the light is automatically on all the time. You don't have an option to turn this one off. This guy is very easy to see in any condition. I love that about this thermometer and that's one of the reasons I like it. This thermometer is not ambidextrous. It does not give you the ability to flip the display around. And if I'm misrepresenting this thermometer, I do apologize because there, there may be some updates to this since I have this one. If you're interested in this particular thermometer, you should check. But I love that display. It's easy to see in any condition, and this thermometer is plenty fast as well. The Thermoworks Thermapin Classic is the previously uh, known gold standard in this market, and it's got basically the same sort of display that the uh, Mark IV has, but this display is also not ambidextrous and it does not have a backlighting option so it's a very simple display but once again as far as uh, durability and whatnot's concerned I would rate this thermopen right up there with the Mark IV. The Lava Tools Javelin Pro Duo is a new thermometer to me. I just recently bought this one uh, on the recommendation of a couple of people and I like the display on it as well. It's got a nice uh, bold LCD display and it is ambidextrous in 180 degree orientation. When you turn the thermometer it, uh, it will change and I'm not exactly sure about this one. I probably should read up on it. The backlighting I don't know if it comes on automatically in some cases or not or if I'm hitting this hitting this sensor here to get it to come on but it does have a beautifully and easily readable backlit display with min and max and a hold function. The Lava Tools PT18 is one of their uh, simple sheath thermometers and it does come with a sheath and uh, the display on this one's rather small. It does have you know the tenth of a degree reading. I am not a fan of tenth of a degree readings. If you've noticed that on my thermopin, I have that function turned off. And if my thermometer gives me the ability to turn off the tenth of a degree reading, I do because it just it's distracting to me and it makes me feel like it might not be given giving you the stable reading. I just like to see the whole numbers. But this one has a button press for the backlighting and but this one uh is not ambidextrous either. The Thermapro PT19 has been a real surprise for me in this test. I actually love this thermometer. It's fast and I love this LCD display or this LED display actually and it is ambidextrous as well. It'll flip over and it's got a lock function where you stick it in and you can uh, have it hold but this is easy to read in any conditions day or night. And coming down the price list, I skipped the Thermapot by accident, but it uh, I'm still going to show you that. It's a uh, Thermaworks uh, small stick pen thermometer. It has its little sheath, and it has an LCD. And the LCD here is ambidextrous, but you have to press the button on the back to have that rotate around for you. It doesn't do it automatically and then you press this button for the backlight and the backlight's rather weak on the thermopot but other than that this thermometer is a very solid thermometer. The Hen Sun thermometer has also given some surprising results in terms of speed and uh, the display on this guy is a, just a typically nice LCD. Uh, I don't think this one does anything ambidextrous and it has a backlit uh, display which is also very nice. It's got a maximum, a minimum, and a hold. This thermometer, I haven't told you everything as we've come down the line. This one's calibratable. In my spreadsheet that I'm going to show you, you'll be able to see which of these are calibratable and not. But this guy was pretty fast uh, for a $20 pocket thermometer that's uh, boasted to be waterproof. 
And then we finished up here at the bottom of the price range with the Lava Tools PT09 sheath thermometer. This one's pretty nice. It doesn't have any frills. It's got a very small LCD that does read in tenths of a degree. I'm not able to change that, but it will show you max, min, and hold, and there is no backlight on this one. This is your uh, basic $10 thermometer, and if you're bargain shopping for a nice digital instant read thermometer, you cannot go wrong with this guy. So now that we've done all the testing, here I've got the most expensive thermometer at $99 and the least expensive thermometer at $10. Um, our most expensive thermometer here read in 1.9 seconds and our slowest one read here at 4.5 seconds. So you've got a two and a half seconds difference between these two thermometers and speed and accuracy are mainly what people are looking for. I did a little poll in one of the Facebook groups to find out what people look for when they buy one of these thermometers and speed and accuracy were the two uh, number one issues that people were looking for when they buy this so you have the gold standard here with the thermopin and this is one of the cheaper digital thermometers that I could find and you've only got two and a half seconds of difference between read times and our test on these two thermometers and then we have our top three in terms of speed. We have the top speed one at 1.7 seconds is the Lava Tools. The Lava Tools and the Thermapro both measured 1.7 seconds with my handheld stopwatch. So, you know, there's some margin for error there, but for for testing sake, I'm going to call it an exact tie between those two and then 1.9 seconds with the uh, thermopin. I'm going to put an image up here on the screen. You can feel free to stop the video and have a look at this. This is the spreadsheet that I put together uh, to use to make this test and to, to make my determination of top to bottom on these. And I have these listed in finishing order here. Uh, I obviously looked at the price. I put a weight figure on there because weight is something that gives you a feel of durability sometimes. So I just decided to include the weight. I included whether or not the thermometer has a magnet on the back of it that you can use to stick on something metal. I indicated whether or not the thermometer can be calibrated. And I, I also listed its water resistance rating if I could find it. And then I indicated whether or not the thermometer is ambidextrous to where you can read it uh, right side up from different angles. And then our testing criteria was ambient temp to 155 degrees. And then I included uh, the ratings on which I judge these. I gave every thermometer a one to five rating on speed and I gave it a one to five rating on durability and that's just my impression of how durable I think the thermometer is compared to the other thermometers in the test just because it, when it, if it gets a one it doesn't mean that I don't think it's durable I just think it's the least durable of the eight thermometers that we're testing here accuracy I should have just left this out because I gave everything a five on accuracy because everything registered 32 degrees in ice water and everything registered 155 degrees in my sous vide bath so they're all accurate I, I gave everything a one to five score on price and then i gave everything a one to five score on my impression of the display if i liked the way the display looks and its readability i gave it higher scores here and then the me with the question mark factor is is this a thermometer that I would put in my pocket and use as my daily go-to thermometer? So you can have a look at these numbers. I put some qualifications down below that. Up until recently, one of my favorite thermometers to recommend has been the Thermopan or the Thermo uh, the Thermopop by Thermoworks. It's a very inexpensive and accurate thermometer. However, in recent times. I have tried to get away, I have gotten away from these stick type thermometers in favor of these folding ones. I don't know, I like these in my pocket better. 
I don't like, uh, I don't often have the sheath around with me uh, or don't want to keep up with it. I like everything in a compact and folding design for my own use. So I'm taking those off the table in terms of my recommendations in favor of the folding design. So, you know, we have our top three here and uh, my, my personal rating here uh, the number one spot is going to be taken by the Thermapro TP19. I love everything about this thermometer, especially its $25 price tag. And I actually got that for $20 on sale on Amazon, so it's an even better deal. The second thermometer, the, sec the runner-up to first place here, is the Javelin Pro Duo. I am extremely pleased with this thermometer as well. It's got a slight edge on the Thermapro in my subjective opinion of durability and feel but that's the only thing and then we've got the gold standard here of the Thermapen uh, as you can see on the sheet that I posted if you take price out of the factor all three of these thermometers score the same thing in my testing I would be proud to have any of these in my pocket at any uh anytime I'm outside cooking. Uh, I am going to currently, for the next, I don't know, six months or a year, I'm gonna put the $25 Thermapro in my pocket and make it my go-to thermometer and see if I have any issues with it. Uh, I'm gonna see if it'll hold up, but I love the display. The thing that separates these three thermometers mostly for me is the display quality. I love that really bright red, uh, LED display that we have on the Thermapro. So with that, I'm going to wrap this up. You guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of thermometer, what's your favorite thermometer, uh, what makes it your go-to thermometer. And uh, until next time, this is John Setzler with Man Cave Meals.